Hi, I'm Susan. You'll need a pound to a pound and a half of ground beef. And I have this chub, it's about three pounds left, and I'm going to go ahead and brown all of it, and I'm going to freeze what I don't need. And to this, you want to add a chopped onion to taste. I like, I usually just do a whole onion when I've got a big pan of ground beef like this. And um, garlic to taste. And as you'll see, I like a lot of garlic. And I always brown my meat with salt and pepper. Now the good thing about this cheeseburger casserole is that it's low carb and my family loved it as well. So it is just something that hit all of us. So if you're on a low carb diet but your family isn't, this is a perfect, perfect dish to make. Now once your meat is browned really well and done, you want to drain it. And I just pour mine in a colander with a pan underneath it. It just seems to be the easiest way for me. Now I want to make my sauce. And you take a cup and a half to two cups of cheese of your choice. I'm using Colby Jack. And you want to do great enough to have some to go over the top. And you just put that in your bowl. And then I'm adding about a teaspoon of fresh basil. And it is fresher than it looks right here. And I'm also adding tomatoes. Um, it calls for a whole tomato, but I say tomatoes of your choice because my family's not real big on the tomatoes. And I had some cherry grape tomatoes, and I just cut those into quarters. And to that, I'm going to add a half a cup of whipping cream and just a little bit of salt and pepper. And I've been trying out this pink Himalayan salt, and I really like it a lot. And now you just want to give this a good stir and mix it up really well. And I forgot to mention that I've had my oven preheating to 350 degrees. Now you want to take this 8 inch square baking dish or baking pan, whatever you have, and add your meat to the bottom. And remember, this is more than the pound and a half that of meat. So I'm just dipping out about a third, a third or so of the meat. Now you want to pour your sauce over the top. Just spread it out the best you can. And once you have that done, just add the rest of your cheese over the top. And now you'll want to bake it for about 25 to 30 minutes. And here's what it looks like. It was really good. I highly recommend it. My husband and my sons said they would eat it again for sure. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you hadn't. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And until next time, bye y'all.